There is Krista Fossi. Carlo, of course, passed away at the World Championships last year in Lausanne. An emotional time for Nicole Bobek as she went out and still skated at that event. And there's her two, uh, the two people that work with her, Krista Fassi and Hoon Kim. And Michelle on the ice. You know, Dick, when you look at the collection of ladies on the ladies, ice right now, it may be as good remaining. as you're ever going to get, one minute remaining. at least this year. The talent in the world does not match the U.S. when you talk about depth. Oh, <laughs> the wonderful moves that we've been saying. They've had very nice uh, warm up here. Everyone's been skating very solid, no problems. And here's the order in which they'll skate. Nicole Bobek first, then Tara Lipinski, Amber Corwin will follow, and Angela Nikodinov, the two who finished fourth and fifth last year at the Nationals, then Michelle Kwan, Tanya Kwiatkowski. Any advantages to that order for Please. any of them? No flash If you're Nicole Bobek, is an advantage, do you think, to go first? I, I think it gets the pressure right off. You're warmed up, you have the opportunity to go from the warm up to step right on the ice, but I think it would be kind of nice to be maybe one little bit further. And of course, the difficulty in all of this is keeping your focus and your attention. If you can do that for all of us in everything that we're doing, it's better. Now there are three spots on the Olympic team available. One automatically goes to the champion. If that is Michelle Kwan, most would say Tara Lipinski will definitely be on that team. The International Committee bases their choice on the results the past two seasons maybe go back three years and what Tara has done over that time you cannot keep her off that team but Nicole Volbeck and Tanya Kwiatkowski are certainly battling for that third spot on the Olympic team and each of them controls her own destiny if Nicole Volbeck wins the free skate she would be crowned the U.S. champion well, she wants to keep the memory of her late coach, Carla Fossi, alive by skating well here. But for the next four minutes, she needs to tame her free-spiritedness and think about her technique. Triple Lutz jump can tell us a great deal about her performance. Watch to see this very short edge if she stays on an outside edge. She didn't, but what a nice revolution it was. And now a triple flip jump. Oh, nice she landed it all right. Now her third triple, a triple. Good. Good girl. <laughs> this is a very successful beginning so far. Nice double, double back out, double, double go. go. Well, remember last year. Nicole Bobek at the national championships after so many people had counted her out and written her off. Went from sixth to third to capture the bronze medal. After the short program, she made that jump, and she says she is so much more mature now with all that she has gone through on and off the ice. Well, she looks like a very serious Nicole out here this evening. Double loop rather than a triple. Triple Salco. She has a spectacular spiral. 
it's nice that she's holding it. Yes. The audience loves it. Doesn't he? Of course. She has a great sense of theater and of theatrics. She's got the pizzazzy skater. She knows what the audience is looking at and does it beautifully. She's a woman who hides very little. What she feels and thinks, she lets you know. 20 years old, originally from Chicago. Well, I think that's very true about our sport. It is a very revealing sport as to what kind of personality you are. Nice triple toe. Ah, good, good. That's always dangerous to do at the end of a program. She has a big smile on her face. Well deserved. Well, <laughs> she held on to it through that entire time. Thoughts of Carlo Fossi, perhaps. Huh? There is Krista. Oh, what a night. She knows what it's like to stand on the top step of the podium at the national championships. She wore gold in 1995. Could she wear it again in Philadelphia? Ladies free skate continues. Tara Lipinski will be on the ice trying to win another national title. The reigning world champion after this from our ABC stations. E. Balboa style. Nicole Bobek following her free skate. And look at this Lutz. Now, she does go from this outside edge right there to an inside edge, but so what? The jump was fur perfect, the revolution was good, and the audience loved it. And yeah. this was her second triple in her program, Nicole the triple Bobet flip, for forward three merit. turn, tapping in, three revolutions, very solid, good strong seven. landing, five nice six. speed, good position. Five point seven. The technical five merit marks 5.6 five five up to 5.8, and that, that's seven. perfectly accurate. Uh, I think that uh, these marks five were not perfection, six. the performance wasn't perfection, but just very good and she held everything together. That was the excitement of the evening. Well, we've been waiting for a performance like this for a long time from Michelle, Five, or from Nicole. Sarah Lipinski, some final thoughts from her coach, Five, Richard Callahan. Presentation Five, marks now for Nicole. They're 5.7 up to 5.9. They're nine. considerably Five, higher, nine. and I think that Five, performance will assure her Five, of a berth on the Olympic Five, team. Five, right no now, doubt. she is in first place. And very happy. Her first words relieved. when she got off the ice were, I am done. 